Hello everyone and welcome back to server can so within this video we are going to discuss about namespacing versus control group so within previous video we saw the problem statement that where we were supposed to install multiple version of pythons on our hard disk so namespacing is such a mechanism or such a feature which can isolate resources per process or per group of processes so what type of resources we are going to get isolated like user on the basis of user hard disk host name network inter process communication and multiple processes are there fine so these type of things we are going to isolate now when we talk about like control groups so control groups are going to limit resources like cpu memory network and io so wherein we are we are talking about isolation of process and resources and here we are talking about the limitation of resources per process namespacing is isolating and c group is limiting resource limited that is that is why uh, this, these these both are different and if someone says that uh, why, how does your docker in docker work so let me bring you one more image here uh, let us see here so this is container so one once an image is downloaded from docker hub so that interacts with kernel and obviously that starts utilizing cpu network memory and hard disk on your operating system then there there should be a question like uh, how one operating system launches one image and starts working on it so first of all let us try to understand that whenever we run command so there is only one thing like when we are talking about that these particular commands are supposed to be executed so the running copy of this one like whenever any container is created so one copy of node.js python and obviously this running command so these things are copy are fetched with an image and after that that turns into one working copy of your image and that becomes your container because what is an image so image is a file system is snapshot that contains one startup command whatever command you want maybe maybe that image of is this is maybe of uh, node js that could be of nginx that could be of redis that could be of mysql and whatever so it has the snapshot file system snapshot it has dependencies it has and after that it has running commands it means the commands which are supposed to get executed when the container is provisioned so when these things are provisioned so your node js python running command so these is obviously to run your node js python so we will need cpu obviously if net if anyone is trying to access it over network so we will use network interface card as well then after some amount of memory it will be required and when these things will be downloaded copied and executed so all moreover the logs will be written on this hard disk only so container has isolated environment wherein you are going to get one image downloaded from docker hub and after that that image will be uploaded or that that image will be loaded onto your hard disk and that is will start utilizing your cpu network memory and hard disk so this is the particular sequence of container like as we have already seen in previous slides wherein we were talking about like how does it work so for example this is your container container calls your container request to your system calls then after kernel and after that your cpu ram hard disk and network so rest of things are called there so keep this thing in mind this is this becomes completely container so if you have any further question about this you can write in comment box i shall be happy to assist you on this so thank you very much for watching have a good time happy learning from server again please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you